Hello friends. Now I am working on the NGS data analysis and the transcriptome study and differential expression of genes from NGS data. As we know that different types of NGS platforms are available nowadays for sequencing. So I plan to put some videos on YouTube which may be helpful to others for analysis the data. So I generated my data from the Illumina platform using paired end sequencing. And this the sequence is look like that. For paired sequencing, here you can see these two. I gave this example. You can see the forward sequencing that is called R1 and it's come in first Q format and this Illumina R2 that is come also in first Q format. So first thing we need to do after getting our sequence, we need to check the raw quality of our sequence to know our quality of data is good or not. To check that there are different types of software that can be used for this purpose but uh, mostly cited and I also used the software that is called fast QC we can make use of that so for that we have to first download the fast QC and this is a Linux system this is Ubuntu so for Ubuntu we have to download the fast QC so for that you can write in Google download first QC and first link it will come you have to click on that then scroll down and go to the download link here you can see the first QC download link this is the version this is the this you have to download this for both Windows and Linux system download it here okay click on it so it will then start downloading then go to your download here you can see that zip file is downloaded so first you have to unzip it right click and then extract here okay after extracting you will get this fast queue folder you have to go into that okay now you have to run your first QC this one so for that for Linux system Ubuntu you have to go to terminals then you can search here terminals whoever use uh, Linux system they know how to operate terminals and this first QC also can be used in Windows also so I will teach in later on videos but first I am starting with Linux. So search here terminals. The terminals is open now. After that, you have to go to the directory, the first QC directory. So first you have to go to the directory. For that, you have to copy the path for that CTRL L. After that, CTRL C. We control C. We copy the path open terminals change directory this is the command paste that path and you come here and uh, for starting your first QC this is the command dot slash first QC and enter okay now your first QC is open now this is the software you have to use it for checking the quality so for that you have to open your file wherever it is present your raw sequence data you have to open from that i have that data in desktop so that's why i will go to desktop after that this is uh, under this test data test data i'm coming and that this illumina r1 that is for our sequence we can select that and simply open that and based on your data size it will take time now you can see 
optimize it okay <coughs> this is the data here it is showing the basic statistics this is generated from Illumina Illumina platform and its contents total sequence of 50,000 and its length is 50 to 150 and GC content in 41 percent so we know that there are different uh, platforms Illumina also and we can select different read lengths here we have done it for 150 2 into 150 so that is parent sequencing 150 base pair we can go for 250 also <coughs> now we have we can see the product our sequence land also here and the basic thing we need to see here the left side it will show different parameters based on which you can check our quality is good or not so first come to part sequence bar sequence quality for that you have to open that here it will give you flat score your sequence quality should be fall in this green region and its flat score is more than 28 so no sequence should be fall in the red region that is flat score is less than 20 so flat score is if 20 so there is the probability of error 1 in 100 and for 30 it is 1 in 1000 so your sequence quality should be fall into this green region okay so then your sequence is good quality this is the main parameter you have to check out after that you can go to the your length distribution so if your sequence is 150 so most of the sequence would be fall in this region okay and later on in the tree when you will go for trimming of your data you can select the data you want sequence you want to take and you can say uh, select a parameter so suppose 100 base pair less than that whatever sequence that there you can discard that so we will discuss it in later on videos <laughs> So these are the two parameters that is very important to us for checking the quality and other parameters also part sequence it is not that was important part sequence quality score also it is there and end content also it is zero percent so ambiguous base is not there gc content also you can check theoretical it should be in blue line we are seeing like in this red line this is somewhat okay so this is over representative sequence there is no such type of sequence is that duplicate level after that adapter content is not there like that you have to check the quality of sequence the most two important parameter is the R sequence base quality it should be more than 20 somewhat can we fall in the yellow region most of the should fall in the green region and no sequence should fall in the red region okay then your sequence quality is good and this blue line is giving the mean of the sequence quality it must be fall in the green region then you can be considered your sequencing is good if it is not good then you asked the sequencer for resequence it okay this is the basic factor you can check out your raw sequence quality so this video may be helpful to you if any question you have you can ask me and we will come later on details of this discussion this is my first video i am putting on youtube and uh, i'd like to thank everyone you can watch it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and if i got like this video i'm going to make others video which can be used for ngs data analysis thank you very much